Hi. In this video, we will learn about the sum function. You can also call database sum function. And I believe this function better than sum if and sum if s function because in sum if and sum if s functions, you have to select multiple criteria and its relevant ranges one by one. But in D sum function, you don't need to make your selection again and again. You just need to select your database once and give the criteria and that's it. Before I start my video further, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get my all future videos notification. On your screen, you can see one database and in this database, you have cost center wise detail, department wise, employee names, gender and their basic salaries. So in our first example, if I select any cost center from this list, then Excel has to sum up the basic salaries here by using the sum function. We can also use sum if function because there is only one criteria here. But for sum if function, we have to make our selection in different way. If you want to learn about sum if and sum if as function, link is available in the description. But here we will use the sum function. For example, I will delete this first and equal d sum bracket. So there are three arguments in this formula. First one is database. So we have to make our database selection first. This is our database. I will select all this database, then comma. Second argument is field, which means what we need to get it from this database. So we want to get the basic salary. So here we have two options. We can give the column index number in the second argument of field or we can also write it field name here and the third way is we can also select the field uh, in second argument so firstly i will give the column index number here for column index number i will count it from my database one two three four and five so i will write it here five comma and the third argument is criteria what is my criteria i want to sum up the basic salaries cost center wise so i will select this criteria and then bracket close press enter when i press enter you can see i got the answer 165 683 for counter check i will go to the database this is my cost center and these are my basic salaries of this cost center so if i go to the bottom you can see i have the same answer if i select the different a uh, cost center from the list for example 7515 and i got the basic salary 190233 and this is my second cost center and and these are the basic salaries of 7515 and if i go to the bottom i have the same answer so in this way you can use d sum function by using column index number but if I don't want to give the column index number and I just want to write it field name, then how can I calculate the basic salary? I will delete this first and here equal d sum bracket. I will select the database, comma. Then in the field argument, I will write it here the field name, which is basic salary. then inverted commas close then comma and third argument is my criteria this is my criteria bracket close press enter when i press enter you can see i got the same answer so if i select the different co center for example this one i got the answer 154502 so here this is the co center and these are the basic salaries so here in the bottom you can see i have the same answer the third way, if I don't want to write it column index number and I also don't want to write it the field name, I want to make it dynamic formula. So how can we do this? I will go to this second example. I will delete this. Here I will use the sum function bracket and this is my database comma. For the field argument, I will select 
the basic salary. I will not enter the column index number. I will not write it the basic salary in the field argument. I just select comma. The third argument is criteria. I will select this criteria. Bracket close and press enter. You can see I got the answer 165, 683, and this is my cost center, and this is my cost center in the database, and these are the basic salary, and we have the same answer. If I select different cost center, for example, 7901, and this is the basic salary 153808, and this is the cost center, these are the basic salaries, and we have the same answer. So in the third example, we have more than one criteria. It's mean we can also use some ifs function here. But in some ifs functions, we have to select multiple criteria ranges. We have to select multiple criteria, and then lastly we have to select some range. But in D sum function, we just make the selection of our database and give our criteria. For example, I will delete this first. Here I will use dsum function equal dsum bracket. This is our database, comma. This is our field because we want to sum up the basic salaries, comma. And these are our criteria, cost center wise and gender wise. And bracket close, press enter. And you can see I got the answer 97966. For counter check, this is our cost center, and this is our second criteria gender wise. And here, second criteria is female, so I will select only female here, and you can see I have the same answer 97966. So if I make our different selection. For example, male, and we have the answer 86474. And here, this is our cost center. This is male, and this is also male. And here, we have the same answer. But if I give the different cost center here, for example, 7515, you can see I got the answer 144045. And here, this is our database. This is our cost center. And you can see this is our male basic salaries, and this is also. And we have the answer 144045, and here we have the same. So, in this way, you can use dsum function in the replacement of sum if and sum if as function. Hopefully, guys, you like this video, so don't forget to share it and comment it. Thank you so much.